Get your walking shoes ready because this weekend is the Pints for Polio fundraiser. This event takes place at numerous bars and restaurants in historic downtown La Crosse. This morning we have Ben Bauer with us to tell us what to expect at this event. It's happening Saturday. Can you fill us in, Ben? Yeah, it's happening Saturday night and it happens really at the end of our uh, district conference, our Rotary District Conference. Uh, so it's really part celebration of the end of our uh, two and a half day conference and also obviously part fundraiser fundraiser to help uh, raise funds to support Rotary's effort to eradicate polio from the planet. What businesses are participating? Uh, we have eight different uh, bars and restaurants downtown. I'm, I'm, I won't hit them all here, <laughs> but um, Bodega, um, uh, Dublin Square, uh, The Crow, Big Al's, and it'll actually end at Big Al's with some live music there. Uh, so we're really excited yeah. to have a good time and be with friends and raise some money for a good cause. Too. That sounds fun, too. Yeah. Like, when did this all start, too? I'm just curious. Yeah, so this is probably the third or fourth iteration of this event yeah. um, where we've uh, lots of clubs or uh, Rotary Districts, which is kind of that next level of Rotary, um, do some version of a fundraiser like this uh, any time in the year. Um, but the, this version of it that happens at our district conference, this is probably the second or third time that we've done it. And um, you know, the, the more and more times that we do it, we get more and more people comfortable with the atmosphere and walking around. And really, it, at the end of the day, it's just all about being together and, and having fun. Right? Do you have to register online? Um, if you don't register online, can you still partake in the fundraiser. Yeah, you do need to register online to buy tickets. Um, we do have some tickets left. Um, the uh, You would go to rotarytricon.com to do that uh, and you can buy a ticket and in that you get drink tickets and entries into some prizes and stuff. Uh, but uh, we'll be downtown lacrosse so if you're down hanging out and you see a group of friendly folks walking around and uh, enjoying each other's company it's probably the Rotarians downtown. Yeah. And what is the goal of the uh, Pints for Polio fundraiser? Yeah, so like I said it's you know it's Two part, mostly a celebration to end our conference uh, where we've got uh, Rotarians from all over the state coming to La Crosse. Uh, that conference starts, uh, k officially kicks off this morning at the La Crosse Center. Um, and then the fundraiser aspect of it, uh, all the proceeds from the event go to Rotary's effort to eradicate polio, which, you know, fortunately we live in a world where a lot of people, especially younger people, don't even know what polio is. Yeah. Uh, but it's been Rotary's charge for a really long time to uh, officially eradicate the disease from the planet. Um, so far this year, there's actually only been one wild polio uh, virus case uh, worldwide. So uh, clearly the work that we're doing is paying off. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, while we're so close, um, these final pushes to raise dollars like this to help support that cause are super important because while we're really close, we're really in the most difficult phase of finishing the job. So. Is this your first year doing Pints for Polio? Or how many years have you been doing it? Yeah, um, this is the second or third time that okay. we've done it alongside our district conference. Um, but, you know, clubs do some version of Pints for Polio um, mm -hmm. all over the state and really all over the world. And, you know, our you know, fortunately being in downtown La Crosse and all the great food and drink down here, it's easy for us to pair it up with beer and food. Um, there's <laughs> clubs that do pints for polio and it's paired up with pints of ice cream. So it's really up to whatever the club wants to do to create awareness, get people involved, have a good time, and uh, raise some money for a good cause. What is the biggest thing you are looking forward to? You know, I'm in Rotary because of the service that we do both locally and around the world and the professional development opportunities that we get being connected to people in our clubs. Um, but when it comes to stuff like this, what I look forward to most is just being alongside yeah. friends. And that's really something that I think is one of the hidden uh, values of Rotary. You know, we see what um, happens in our communities and La Crosse is a great example with things like the Rotary Lights and stuff. There's some really visible examples of what uh, happens in Rotary, but stuff like this where we get to just share a beer, talk, uh, learn about each other's families, talk about what kind of projects we want to do next. Um, that time together is definitely something I'm looking forward to most. And then one more thing, if people want to find more information, can you reiterate where they can find more information and possibly sign up? Sure, yeah, just go to rotarytricon.com and in the menu you'll see a registration button and down in the registration you'll see an opportunity to buy tickets for Pints for Polio and you'll be all set. Awesome, well thank you Ben for being here and of course. I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah, that sounds like a good Sophia time. Sophia did tell me she wants to come. So, uh, yes. okay. <laughs> so now you have to hold her to it. I know, right. I'll, I'll show up. Thanks right. Ben. Yeah. If you want to check out Pints for Polio, make sure to look at the contact information that Ben provided. We will be right back after the break.